Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be doing a deck profile on my Bermuda Triangle deck that I have been using on Ranked. Uh, it's not 100% complete, but it does function well enough. I mean, I'm level... I got Legend 30 with this deck in the second season currently. Uh, it was kind of a mix between climbing with this and Risers. Uh, about half and half, actually. I can show you the win record on here at the end, um, but... Let's get right into the deck. So, for the most part, it revolves around Velvet Voice Reindeer. Velvet Voice Reindeer is actually the best Vanguard that Bermuda Triangle has currently. And luckily for me, I pulled uh, three and crafted the fourth, so I was able to build it. Uh, and interestingly enough, this is the only, uh, if you look at here, like I, I never pulled any uh, Reindeer. I mean, I never pulled any Riviere and Pacifica. So I still have zero Pacifica and zero Riviere, which is totally fine because the most competitive Bermuda deck is the Reindeer deck. I mean, it always was if you follow Vanguard way back in like OG era. So uh, you really just need four or you, you can get away with running three. For the longest time I was using uh, three of these and the deck was running until I finally crafted enough. I had enough material to craft the fourth one. Um, but yeah, this and then... Uh, Bermuda Princess Lena, she's the second best one. The nice thing about her is that when you have four more rear guards, she gets, she's 13k, so she can hit a cross ride without a booster, but you do have to have a pretty full field, I would say, almost. You have like one open R, uh, which is kind of bad. I feel like, I wish this would have been like three or more rear guards for that to go off, um, but it's it's nice. It, it also would been nice if they boosted her, either made her an 11k or made her gain be 14, kind of like Sakuya, because she effectively functions kind of like Sakuya from OTT. Um, but she's definitely a must-have at like 3 or 4 in the deck. Uh, you don't need Pacifica. Pacifica would be okay at like 1 or 2 copies, um, but not really needed at all. Um, and then Kareen. Kareen is definitely a 4 of. This would be your heal trigger. This is what you use in conjunction with Girls Rock Rio to, and Reindeer's Effect to bounce back up and then call something else down or itself. Uh, to get your uh, counter blast and draw, soul charge and draw. So the deck, the the strong points about the deck is that it has the strongest draw engine in the game. It it is right up there with Sukuyomi. Uh, in fact, it has technically more draw power than Sukuyomi, specifically with the build that I'm running. Um, Sukuyomi really just counter blast two, draw two, and then like you know put something in the soul, set up the stack. Uh, you're gonna use that maybe three times per game most of the time. So that's like six cards. But you have other ways to draw. Um, but this this car, this deck just draws like all the time. Um, so we do have four Kareen. She's one of your draw cards. Uh, and then we have one uh, Ceram. You can run more of these. This is essentially like the Metal Droid from Nova Grappler. Counterblast one. Gains 3k when it attacks. So you can hit over like a Surakaiser or Perfect Riser. It's very, very good. With the 8k behind it, it hits 21. So I, I was considering bumping this to two. And dropping uh, Lena down to three, but it's really it's a tough call. I go for more Vanguard consistency for the center line because I am running critical triggers in here. I feel like uh, four crit and five draw and four heal is the way to go, or you can go five crit four draw. I was running five crit four draw for a very long time and didn't really have any issues. Uh, I switched it over to five draw mainly because this card used to be a crit. I changed it to draw mainly because sometimes most of the time like you if you think about your damage check and drive check combination that's going to happen more than just your drive check by itself so it makes more sense to have a defensive trigger um as a higher number than your offensive trigger so that's why we did it this way um definitely it's totally fine to run critical triggers in this deck in fact it's preferred because that way you don't really trail behind your opponent in damage um, and the deck has, this, like I said earlier, very, very strong draw engine, so there's no reason to run so many draws. You can sacrifice some of that draw triggers over for more uh, offensive pressure. So, yeah. So, four crit. Basically, Reindeer's the critical trigger, and then everything else is like a draw or a heal. And Kareen's the heal, and then everything else is a draw. So, that's a great three lineup. For the great two lineup, we run uh, four of Top Isle Aqua, basically standard stuff. Uh, two flute. I would run one flute if I had a fourth perla. So if you wanted to improve the deck, you would definitely want to run four perla. Uh, I 
I'm waiting to be able to craft the fourth one. Um, but her and the sister, the Perla sisters, are basically what makes the deck have a very strong draw engine. Um, so four of her would be preferred, and then you would run like one flute, four aqua, and four girls rock Rio. Girls rock Rio is a four of requirement because you need uh, the draw power. So this this card is a draw power, it's a draw engine, and it's an interceptor. So it's a very it fulfills a lot of like different uh, purposes. And sometimes you'll like keep this in the back row. So that you'll be able to use it and you won't get rushed down. So you can afford to take some damage because you're going to need the Counter Blast anyway early uh, for, for Rio's effect to draw. And then in addition to that, you run crits. So you can't, you're not really going to fall behind too much in damage. Um, so yeah, so three, four, and then Flute. Flute's pretty good because when you have a lot of rear guards, it hits 11k. I mean, I mean it's either that or you could run uh, Melville. Melville basically is a grade 2 reindeer. Um, but m most of the time, it's not really required, mainly because of Perla. If you don't have Perla, then you definitely run Melville. But because we have Perla at 3, we don't need Melville. So I would opt for the 10k body. It's harder to run over. Um, and it's just more consistent. Another card that would be nice at maybe one copy would be Claire. Because you can use her... You can bounce her up effectively to call her down multiple times. But it is very situational. So I prefer to run the 10k body or Flute. Flute just because of the offensive 11k attack uh, when you have a lot of rear guards in the field over this, but it's it's your choice. For grade ones, it's four of the 8k vanilla. It's just really good. This plus Rio forms a 16k column. You, it's really needed because of that. Because we run four girls rock Rio, um, you know it's a it's 8k, so it forces risers to have to boost with uh, battle riser if they don't want to if they didn't open up with the riser custom. So, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so, it's, it's a good turn one ride for that reason. And it forms pretty good numbers. With Serene, it's 21. With Rio, it's 16. Um, so, yeah, not a whole lot more to say about uh, Sedna. She's really good. And then we run two of the Luckbird clone, Bermuda Triangle Cadet uh, Caravel, mainly because, like I said earlier, you have a lot of soul because Rio soul charges, Karine soul charges. Uh, and yeah, you'll have soul to spare, so you can use this multiple times. You can bounce this up, call it back down. If you drive check on on like reindeer's turn, or Lena can send it up when you ride grade three. So I mean, you don't have to worry too much about calling this out early if you need it to boost. You know, so it's it's a pretty good card at two copies. Uh, and then one Feluca. Feluca should not actually be in here at all. The only reason why Feluca's in here is because I only have two of. The Pearl Sisters Perlay. Ideally, I want a third one of these. Um, and I'll, I'll probably craft it at some point. Um, but ideally, you want three Perlay. Maybe even four. Um, for the max consistency with the sister. But you'd run four and four both. And the, I think the deck would probably be sh shining a lot better. Um, but for now, two of that. And then one Feluca. And then, of course, four PGs. Mermaid Idol Ellie. The classic. So you gotta run those. And then the starter is uh, Weddell because she bounces something up. So it combos well with Rio, with Kareen, with, uh, you know, the, the Luckbird clone. Um, even with, uh, you can use it to bounce this up. So you can reuse this if you don't want to use, if, if you don't have, like, soul to use on the with the sister. Um, but, yeah. So the deck has a ton of draw power. It's pretty aggro. It's not really a defensive deck. It's more of, like, an offensive deck. It's more like a keen to... Uh, like, good stuff Nova Grapplers, if I had to compare it to anything. Uh, but, like I said, you want to run crits over stands because Reindeer uh, bounces something up and calls something down, and then you would usually put the the power on the trigger on a rear guard in the back row that's still standing. Um, so you effectively... It effectively turns the deck into... Like, this basically means you have stand triggers, essentially. She turns triggers into stand triggers in an indirect way so therefore you don't need stands because it's, it's not necessary stands would be if you were going to run uh riviere so that's why i feel like riviere and reindeer unfortunately do not mix well at all so uh, pacifica works in both decks but i feel like the two need to be separate it's two separate decks like you can try combining them if you have them um, but I, I find this is definitely the uh the best way to go like if i wanted to m like make the deck even better uh, I would, this is what I would change. I would have a fourth one of the, or third one of those, and a fourth one of these. So this is what the overall final build would look like. So three of the grade one sister, four of the grade two sister. 
and then everything else will stay the same. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of the deck. Overall, uh, it's a pretty fun deck. Uh, the crit pressure really helps. It keeps the opponent on edge, and they, they don't really take it too lightly once they get hit a couple times with those criticals. So let me know what you guys think of the, uh, of the deck overall, and I will post more of these. Uh, and if you like the content, please subscribe. It helps me out, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.